Hello, hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mighty High and in this video I am going to go through some ways in which you can not only protect your house but also protect your stuff as well. So if you like these kind of videos, Minecraft Let's Plays and tutorials, then be sure to subscribe because I publish on a regular basis. So with that said, let's get on with it shall we? Alright ladies and gentlemen, so what you see in front of you is a standard Minecraft starter house I would say uh, with all the trimmings because we've got some banners outside, we've got some chests, we've got a furnace and a smoker or a blast furnace and a smoker even, we've got some cauldrons and stuff like that and most importantly we want to protect our diamonds as well, don't we? So, the first thing to do to protect your house, I would say, is to uh, probably build a wall around it, I guess. So, <laughs> let's get started with it, shall we? So, I'm just going to use some uh, cobblestone wall, because there's no better wall than a cobblestone wall. <laughs> so, yeah, um, actually, I'm only joking. So, let's get rid of this and build a better wall, hey? Alright ladies and gentlemen, so we have our wall in now and it may not be the prettiest thing in the world and to be quite frank with you, it's not. But it will do for now and it does keep mobs out and it keeps you in. Um, apart from the sheep, this sheep somehow managed to get inside the wall for some random reason. Uh, but we'll leave him there because at least it's not going to kill us. So this wall will protect you from most things outside because one, they won't be able to see you and it will give you some kind of protection from the outside world as well. So, you guys may also be thinking, well, how are we going to get in and out of this place if we can't get past the wall? Because I haven't built a door or anything in the wall. And my suggestion to that would be to have a secret passageway out the base so we could do this quite simply by just having a piston here that extends so if I get some sticky pistons out we could put a piston there for example and then we can power it so that we can have some kind of way in and out of the base so I think that's a pretty cool idea uh, it's going to be a bit tricky doing the redstone but it's not really going to be too much of a problem uh, because it literally is only powering one piston so uh, how can we do this I wonder well we could just have a button there for example uh, to be fair with you so if we just have like a, oh you can't put buttons on stairs so if we have a button there that will like extend the piston and that but then we have that problem so we're gonna have to try and sort that one out all right ladies and gentlemen so we have that sorted now uh, it looks a bit weird with a button in here but to be honest I'm not too worried about it you could probably hide it better if you wanted to uh, but for demonstration purposes I think a button will suit so if we press this button this ex piston extends for a bit and then it just drops us down here basically so the way I've done this is we've got our button up there then we have a piece of redstone and then a repeater going into a block then a redstone torch which is keeping this piston powered so if we press that button but um, it will deactivate this piston and then that means that we can get drop down so this is how it works so if we press that button again you can see that redstone torch switches off when this switches on which allows us to drop down so now all that we need to do really is dig a tunnel outside and it might be a good idea to light it up as well uh, because I don't think you want mobs spawning down here either so let's just build a tunnel and see where it goes hey I reckon we could probably yeah we could even hit daylight here for example and it wouldn't be hard to just have like a piston door here for example so maybe we have a piston there and a piston down there as well all right so I've got these two pistons working now as you can see if we flick that lever these two extend and this one as well so that's that so now all we need to do now is just cover this up really so if we just cover it up with a lever like uh, with some dirt even we'll put lever lever there and then yeah it's pretty much done so let's light the rest of this tunnel up quickly I'm not going to bother decorating it but we can put some light here because we don't want mobs spawning down there and then we can cover it up so yeah all we need to do really is get some grass 
and do something like that and yeah and this might look a bit janky so let's do a tiny bit of terraforming there and you've got to be looking really hard to see that in all fairness I mean yeah you, you know it's there now but if you were just a casual player say like coming from here for example and walking forward you'd see that and you'd think oh it's got a wall behind it let's not bother with that but you wouldn't really see where the uh, lever is unless you actually knew where it was uh, so yeah now we've got this sorted out what else can we do so we've got quite a bit of defense here we've got our wall here and we've also got a hidden secret tunnel which uh, is very hidden so uh what about offensive means hey well i reckon we can put some kind of arrows arrow slit things in the uh walls so we could do it like this and have it like a personal thing where we just put some like stairs in the walls to make a slip so you can throw um shoot an arrow behind it uh let's get a bow hey so I've got my bow, so if we wanted to, we could just shoot arrows through this uh, the other way, not at your house, but we could shoot at enemies past these slits like so, apart from that sheep that wants to get in the way apparently. So are you going to, uh, oh, that was a bit of a delayed reaction, wasn't it? Anyway, <laughs> I think you get the point. So we could shoot arrows through here if we wanted to, but I think there's a uh, better way of doing this. And that would be this. So we have some redstone going all the way around with some dispensers. So if we flick this lever, yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be coming close anytime soon <laughs> with the amount of arrows that are actually being dispensed. So let's go into survival quickly, hey. And how long does this take to actually, if I wanted to get around here, for example, this is going to kill me pretty fast, I bet. Although you could probably get under them as well, to be fair with you, thinking about it, but no. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'd say that's a pretty effective means of defense if I were you. Uh, so what else can we do, I wonder? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've uh, found our base and the lag is real for some reason. Uh, this is kind of ridiculous, so I wouldn't probably, I probably wouldn't suggest doing this all the time. So let's, <laughs> literally a slideshow at the moment. I've probably got part calls on, so let's try and turn that off. Please switch off, please. Thank you. Yes, that's fine. You you can stop now. I'll break it otherwise. There we go. Should stop in a minute. <laughs> yep, it does, but we've still got a slideshow around because of the uh, arrows around. So, uh, probably going to have to wait a minute. Alright, oh, so now that's sorted out, the jerkiness has gone. And that's probably because of all the arrows and particles on the floor, to be fair. But they've all gone now. So I would say that's quite an effective means of defence, if you ask me. But we can do a lot more than that. So another thing we could do is we could use this stuff. Yes, we could use some lava to uh, destroy people. So uh, we could just like place random lava buckets around here and hope for the best. But you're going to see that from quite a while away. So uh, I think there's a better way of doing this. And that would be... To uh, put it in a dispenser and it keeps burning things as well. I have actually switched all my particles off but yeah I haven't got fire tick off either so these wood pillars might actually burn if we did this but not to worry. So what we could do is we could have a dispenser there and we could put a lava bucket in there for example. So we've got a lava bucket there. So if we power this dispenser it will dispense the lava but if we power it again it will retract the lava as well. So that's the mechanic we're going to be using. So if we could dot a few of these around the place, like one there, one there, and a few others around the place like this, then all we need to do is find a way of powering them, which is fairly easy. We could just run some redstone down on the ground. So let's do this and I'll get back to you guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I've got that done now. And if we flick this lever here, we have a our lava should be dispensing but it doesn't seem like it wants to there we go 
Alright ladies and gentlemen, so I think I've got it fixed now. I just had to move a bit of redstone around and there is a lot up there. That's alright. So if we flick this lever here, all the lava should be dispensed in various locations as you can see around here. So it's not quite a lava pool as such, but it will make it harder for the enemy to actually get through to your base. Uh, just one thing, wood starts f catching fire if uh, lava's next to it, so it probably wasn't a good idea to build this out of wood, to be fair with you. So does grass for that matter, so technically it could be a fire defence as well, <laughs> but once the grass is all burnt, uh, it's only just the lava left, but it works as a pretty decent defence, I think. Uh, so let's... Uh, switch that back off now and see what else we can come up with so another kind of defense that people don't really think about much is of course these guys yes the humble wolf because if you guys didn't know you can give them bones until they love you but also if you get attacked and a wolf is next to you they will attack whatever attacks you so we can keep a load of these guys around as well, basically. They're just a bit annoying to tame sometimes, but once you've got two of them, you just need some meat. So let's get so uh, let's feed them some raw steak, hey. Okay? They deserve a decent meal, so if we feed them both together, you can just keep breeding them like that. And there we go, we have a little baby. And you have to wait on a cool down period, but then you can just keep breeding them the same. But let's just chuck a load of these around. So I've chucked a load of wolves around, some of them aren't tamed, but I'm just using this as an example to be fair with you. So I don't think any player is going to mess with you if you've got this many wolves around, let's put it that way. And we can also have a few guard in the outside as well if we wanted to. I know these guys are just coming from spawn eggs so they're not uh, tamed, but let's just pretend they are, hey, because uh, it takes quite a lot of time to tame these guys sometimes. Uh, so yeah, that, I think that's eno enough wolves around here anyway. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so I have gone around and tamed all these dogs that are inside the perimeter of the wall now at least. So these guys won't do anything if, you, if they're sitting down and you're attacked. So let's demonstrate that by summoning a zombie and going into survival. He will attack me but these dogs won't do anything. So if we... Uh, I didn't mean to do that, we've got two zombies burning at least, but if we uh, get these dogs up like this and they start attacking me, then look what happens. They have absolutely no chance. So let's uh, get all these dogs standing for a minute and then prove this again. So all these dogs are standing and following me now, so if we summon a zombie in and that zombie attacks me and kills me, uh, which shouldn't have happened, then all the dogs will attack him. So, <laughs> it's the second time I've done that now. Anyway, so let's go back to our house and see what else we can do. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, I've shown you how these dogs can be used as a defence. And they really are quite effective, to be fair with you. But there is one other thing that I suppose you could class as a defence. Um, which is TNT, of course. So, you might be thinking a TNT launcher, which is possible, but I'm not entirely sure how to build them. No, I'm thinking of a self-destruct, basically. So, if we put a load of TNT down underneath our house, like this, for example, and then we can cover it up with wood after. These dogs are just getting annoying now, so you guys can sit down. Or come back with us out here and then sit down, shall I say? So please stop getting in my way. Thank you. Awesome. So, no, just sit. Thank you. So, yeah, so we can put a load of TNT around here. So, if we cover it underneath the floorboards, no one's going to know there's TNT around here. So, we could put it there and possibly under there, for example under that chest although it is a bit sticking out you could definitely tell it's there so probably not there but we could do another thing with that so we could set it off to a timer 
and then have enough room to have enough time to uh, grab all our diamonds and then run off hopefully uh, these dogs are still trying to follow me so it might be a bit of a challenge but we could definitely do something like that uh, because as soon as we press this button this TNT is going to go off by the looks of it because it's got redstone right next to it so let's get rid of that and see what we can come up with all right ladies and gentlemen so this is the contraption i have come up with and if you're wondering why it's out here and not over there that's because i had a bit of an accident yeah it probably wasn't the best idea to uh, place the tnt before i actually done the redstone in all fairness because mistakes were made as you can see from this massive hole here i've got no house left my items are gone and yeah um but anyway let, moving on this is what i've come up with so we've got a hopper clock here i haven't got many items in there you could fill this to the brim if you want but i've also got a redstone on top of this hopper stopping it from actually moving so if we power this piston you can see that the items will now start moving into this hopper here and as soon as all the items have moved into that hopper it will power this redstone and then power this TNT which should be any second now uh, yeah apparently not what is going on here okay it's bud powering that so that obviously didn't work but yeah that happens at some point anyway <laughs> and that sheep just got po totally obliterated along with a couple of my wolves uh, so yeah, uh, I should probably stop working with TNT because I can never get it right. Um, but anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, I hope this uh, video was somewhat interesting, although a complete disaster in some respects. Although I hope you liked this video as well. If you did like this video, then please click the like button. And if you really liked it, then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads. I've been Mighty High, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.